Hello, Boxing King Media, powered by the Riyadh Season and BYD. Mr. Mark Tibbs out here for the launch press conference of Reignited Fury Usyk. You've got your young man, Johnny Fisher. Is he a young man still, Johnny Fisher, fighting Dave Allen? Uh, 24, 25 he could be, so yeah, I guess uh, still a young man. He's I just spoke to Dave Allen and he sounds well and he's really up for this and he, I think he made the point that he's not here to just collect the money, he's here to, to be serious, not be a clown or not, not to be a joker and not trying to be funny for people, he's here to like take Johnny's own. Yeah, well listen, we, uh, we, we, uh, me and Johnny have chatted about this and we always prepare for our opposition to be the best and uh, Dave's got great experience and uh, great experience, and that's something you, you don't lose. You only get better at it. You know, as you get as you get older, you get wiser. Uh, you know, he's had a reputation for not training properly, and I, I, I can only, you know, if you can't train for this, then you know, something's wrong with you, because you know he could uh, he could go again. So we're going to train for the best, Dave Allen. You know, like we always do anyway. I'm going to ask Johnny this as well, but there were some conspiracies out there that he pulled out of that last fight because you had this lined up. So I'm just going to let you address that. No, we was uh, we was preparing for a uh, we we went, I went out to uh, I had a, a family holiday booked and uh, we had we had this job lined up and uh, and I had a two week holiday booked and uh, in Fort Ventura actually just talking to Greg Marriott about it. Because I hadn't been back there since uh, the Billy Joe camp when he trained for Martin Murray and uh, Canelo. So, you know, the fight was on, and uh, we was out there doing some some foundation training with Sonny Cannon and myself and uh, one or two others, and we was training for that for that fight. And uh, on, on our return, uh, Johnny Johnny tore a, a bicep in a, you know in one of the sessions back home in Raynham so so yeah so no that was that was genuine yeah it's just wanted to put that put that out there because you know what the world of Twitter and people are like so is that any concern going into this fight because it's only what 10 10 weeks away yeah no we were uh, we've got the uh, Johnny's got the thumbs up from the doctors that he can uh, lightly start using it and that's what he has been doing he's listened to the doctor and uh, a couple of more weeks and we'll uh, we'll be we'll be uh, We'll be uh, putting it into work, you know, you know, get training basically, sparring, uh, pads, bags, all normal stuff, working out a game plan for Dave. What do you remember that sparring session? Because um, Johnny's been um, open and honest about it and he, his memories of it were that he, he said, you know, Dave gave him a beat down, etc. Do you, obviously you would have been there, how do you remember it? No, I wasn't involved with Johnny then. Um, I think uh, I think uh, Johnny was, a, was an amateur fighter at the time, I believe. Uh, when uh, I've had, uh, you know, when, when Johnny got his boxing professional boxing license, I was uh, I was his trainer from then, so I wasn't I wasn't around when uh, I heard about he sparred with Dave, but I wasn't around. No. Okay. Just want to get your uh, opinion on the weekend's fight. Did you watch uh, Adam Azim uh, O'Hara Davis? What did you make of Adam Azim's performance? Great performance and a fantastic uh, performance by OD as well. I've got to say, uh, good fight, and uh, I like Adam Azim and. Uh, he was uh, OD, you know, he hung in there and tried his utmost, but, you know, the younger, fresher animal come through. And uh, Adam Azim, lovely, lovely fella, good fighter, uh, great fighter, will be a great fighter, I believe. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic uh, performance by him. And uh, a great uh, performance by OD as well. And uh, and, uh, and he's, he's hung up these gloves now, hasn't he? So, so that's a nice way to go out uh, the way he did. Yeah. Indeed. And... Does Fury avenge this loss if he was a betting man? And because Fury's come out and said that he's going to put it on Usyk this time, he's going for the knockout. Yeah, I think that's what he should do. Uh, I think that's what he should do with the smaller man, uh, for sure. You know, he's got uh, he's the bigger man, and both as cute as one another, super cute boxing wise. But he's got to use his size, um, Tyson. He's got to use his size for sure. Yeah. Indeed. Um, how's your dad? My dad's very good. I've just left him at, uh, at the Rainham Gym, Origin in in, in Rainham. He's just uh, overseeing some sparring with uh, Giorgio Vizioli and uh, Joel Bartel. Yeah, so they've done a, a good bit of body sparring. 
working on working on the inside inside stuff I always find it interesting like how is it like being the son of a guy that's been around Muhammad Ali that, like, that bit of magic must sprinkle on you as well I hope so <laughs> can only hope so um, that's good being around dad he knows he's boxing inside out and uh, can't pull the wall over his eyes that's for sure you can't. Mark Tibbs as always it's a pleasure Thank I'll you. jump from you straight to Johnny